The kidnap, rape and murder of Sarah Everard sent shockwaves around the country. Today, her killer, Wayne Cousins, was back in court to appeal against his whole life sentence. His lawyer said that whilst he deserves decades in jail, his remorse and guilty plea should be taken into account for a reduced sentence. A special court of five judges is examining the case and four others as part of a review into how whole life sentence orders are imposed. So, should whole life terms ever be reviewed? Ian, what do you think? Uh, no, they are they're still incredibly rare. There are really a handful of them uh, mm. out there that are given. We've seen a few more of late. But we're also talking here, <laughs> when it comes to people like him and others, we've seen a lot of, you know, horrendous child-killer stories lately that are, are so beyond disturbing we couldn't even go over the details on, you know, e even at this time of the evening on television. And what's not in dispute is the guilt of these people. These aren't people who are saying there's a miscarriage of justice. These aren't people who are suggesting that somehow there was some evidence missing and that should be taken into account that didn't come up the first time around. These are people that have pleaded guilty to the most horrendous, horrific crimes known to mankind. So bad that a judge has taken the exceptional decision to say, actually, your sentence is a whole life tariff and that is it. And the idea that we go back and, you know, as if the, the victims and the victims' families and the like have not gone through enough, the idea that somebody now has this bureaucratic right to challenge this is just... I mean, it tells you everything that would be wrong with our legal system if that were to be given the green light. A whole life sentence is there for a reason and that's how it should stay. So I'm a bit kind of conflicted on this because, of course, these sentences are only applied in the most awful cases. You're absolutely right, and they are pretty rare. But I'm just sort of left wondering, what is the point of incarcerating someone after several decades? You know, some sort of 75, 80-year-old who's clearly on their last legs, clearly poses no danger to society. I am just feel a little bit uncomfortable with the notion that it's forever, 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 amen. Mm. Or rather, something rather more of a curse than amen. Yeah, yeah. Um, and I just feel that there has to be something at the other end of the tunnel, um, not you know, death penalty or, or anything extreme like that, but at the opposite end of the spectrum. And what is the point of prison? Of course, part of it is a punishment, but there has to be something on the other side. And we're but really, point, we're really though, bad in this country at that. You know, one quarter that. of our offenders re-offend. But isn't there a point where you are essentially just surplus, frankly, to the, the almost to the human gene pool? We don't have the death sentence in this country, Thank JJ. God. So, yeah. you know, as a result, the, 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 the nearest we have is a whole life sentence. <clears throat> yeah, listen, um, th this isn't a, a guy who's just done uh, a bit of blue collar, uh, white collar crime. Mm. It's put some of the most heinous acts ever. For me, he should absolutely never be let out of prison. And it, speaking personally, if that was one of my family members who he'd, he'd done that to, mm. I would want the death penalty for him. I'm not saying to have the death penalty as a deterrent, because it doesn't work as a deterrent. I'm yeah. saying purely out of vengeance, I don't want that man ever on the streets again. I don't care if he's 85 years old, he should rot in that prison cell until he's no longer with yes, us. Yes, and I think it's very clear when, when his defence counsel say he's showing remorse, well, in the face of a whole life sentence, yeah. my God, you're going to feel a bit of remorse, be. aren't you? Of yeah. course he's feeling remorse. He yeah. wishes he hadn't been caught, he wishes he hadn't been banged up, and he wishes that he'd be given the key. I mean, of course he's feeling remorse. But what he did was absolutely abysmal and appalling and of course mm. the whole point of justice or one of the main points alongside punishment is that justice must be seen mm. to be done and this is a case that has been an ex extraordinary uh, vista for the public to look upon, hasn't it? Yeah. yeah the reaction has look, been cataclysmic I'm to not this. disagreeing so justice with you. being seen to be done, I think in most public uh, opinion would be a whole life means his whole life. He never gets to go outside again. He never gets to be rehabilitated. He doesn't get the chance of reformation. He doesn't get to change his mind and say he's sorry. He doesn't get to say he's had a religious conversion, he's a totally different person. He doesn't get the chance. I think that's justice. You're being making it all about done. this individual case, and I would hate a headline tomorrow that says his fellow yeah. shot calls for the release of Wayne Cousins or Cousins. any of the yeah. other awful, awful cases. I just wanted to think that we should look more at the principle of yes. the thing. I think you might have a slightly yeah, more nuanced view um, on I, this. I was agreeing with, with everything you were saying. Mm. Look, I, I would love to say that I believe that all people can be rehabilitated. I, I don't. Um, and I'm with you. We shouldn't just be talking about Wayne Cousins here. I think everyone here would agree we would rather mm. he not be released again. But I, I do think that a whole life in prison, as they begin in prison, isn't quite right, perhaps not to be, not to have these prisoners released into society, 
but to have certain freedoms given back to them or ask them to be involved in society in a way that we are still protected from them. That's a good Perhaps, idea. Do you know yeah. what I mean? Like yeah. A form of rehabilitation. So being able to work, you know, many people are working from home now. Perhaps prisoners, instead of costing £44,000 per contribute year, something? can they contribute to society 100%. from within yeah. prison walls? Can they teach from prison? Mm. Can they learn to have degrees, etc.? But if we're worried that they're going to be um, physically violent upon release, yeah. keep them in there, but yeah. allow them some of the freedoms that we have That's a brilliant outside. compromise. Do we not Absolutely. just struggle... To, to acknowledge that there are just sometimes bad people. Yes, it, as part of the, the human incarnate. race, yes, predisposed to that, it's there, for, it, it's there from the beginning and it manifests in these horrific kind doesn't of ways. It doesn't get us any we, further forward, though. No, it doesn't, doesn't but I think we yeah, try to find ways to circumnavigate that. As, as they've been sentenced Correct. for the rest of their lives and for the public to trust that life means life. And it's yep. a simple concept to understand and it shouldn't be made more complicated than that. That is it. Whole life means whole life. Now...